Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, so it's here in the flesh here at the Speed Art Museum for just a few months. So if you can come and put your eyes on one of the earliest of the water lily paintings. Now, in this same little exhibit, 10 years earlier, the Speed Art Museum has its own collection. This is also a Monet, Erica. It is. Wow. And it's a Speed's Monet. So it's here all the time. It's here all the time. That's incredible. There's something that just happened with this painting, with yeah. the, the restoration process. Can you talk to me a little bit about what it's like to keep these fresh and, and, and intact? Sure. So part of my job as a curator is to care for the collection, sure. right? And so we hold these works in public trust at, as kind of the community art museum. And so you know, that makes sure that the paintings look as good as they can, but also that they're being taken care of. Right. And sometimes that necessitates some interventions with conservators who are like art scientists mm -hmm. and you really get into the forensics of an artwork. Wow. So this piece was really exciting. It spent about 18, it spent a lot of, this was conserved back in 2018, okay. several months in the conservation lab, but you can see behind me the before with the discolored varnish that we all just kind of lived with after a while and got used to. Wow. And then we got it up into the lab and realized all of this was underneath. So really transformative. And so talk to me about how this kind of relates to the water lily collection. Absolutely. So what's great about this piece as a counterpoint to the Monet that we have here on loan is that this piece represents the northern coast of France from a period in Monet's life where he was kind of going out and about further afield to seek out his subject matter, kind of packing up his easel and hitting the road. And what's great about the water lilies is it comes right from a period he has bought and kind of moved into his new home at mm -hmm. Giverny, northwest of Paris, and has created kind of his perfect artistic environment. So we didn't have to kind of right. go kind of tromping around these little French villages. I mean, what a great job. Right, anyway, sounds great. But <laughs> And so this is what we're looking at, is this is how Claude Monet would have seen it as he was painting it. And then you said you went on to Google Maps and found yeah, what no, it would look like now. The power of technology. So we found this, this is a photograph that actually dates from within the same couple of years. And then this is actually what it looks like from, if you go on Google Earth. It's really incredible to see it then and now. And then also to have the opportunity to come out here and not only see one Monet, but also two while it's still here. Um, you can also see it for free on Sundays here at The Speed. That is one reason I love the Speed Art Museum. Yeah. Sundays are free for families, which yep. really goes a long way in this economy. Yeah, and I don't know how the weather is going to be Sunday. Just oh.